Hello guys, and welcome back for another map mod review. Today, I think I found possibly the smallest map I've ever seen in Farming Simulator 2015. This is a fairly cool map, actually. This is a great single player map. Um, I'm going to start because that's really annoying. And you can see it's just called Sample Mod Map. Let's look inside. Okay, that's better. Now I can speak. Now, this is just a small single player map. Um, it's called Small Single Player LPG Map Version 1.0, but you know what? I'm calling it Tiny Town. Welcome to Tiny Town, folks, where farming is free. Look at these fields. Notice they're not numbered? That's because it's free. Well, you have access to all the fields. A couple of them already have some stuff growing, as you can see. Now, there is one thing about this map. That isn't the whole map actually, it's not that big. And you'll notice there's some things on the outside of the map, which I'm not 100% about, but they don't exist. And what I mean is, watch this. Now, there's the map here, but, hold on. Oh, what am I doing? I, had, I thought I had this, oh there that's actually your map if you drive outside here it's just green and nothingness and if you drive over here you'll fall off the edge of the earth because <laughs> I've done it I fell way down and uh, I actually could jump ahead to another vehicle that was back on land but I tried to reset the vehicle that fell off the map and I couldn't so the game basically crashed but uh, yeah so anyway you can't go outside these boundaries and they did a pretty good job they did a decent job on this. Now let's just look around. And this is a great map for a single player that just wants to get right into it. All the fields are accessible right from the, right from the beginning. Here's some fertilizer and seed I just happened to bump into. But uh, you'll see that things aren't really marked well on the map. Like there's basically a farm here. And I think, yeah, there's only two selling points, there's, and it's the shipping office. Now, I notice with this, let me jump back here for two seconds. You just have your regular stuff that you'd have in the vanilla version, right? Just straight up that. But look, this is your only customer. You can't, there's no arrows here to click, so you only have this guy to sell it to, but I think there's two like two of this two shipping offices we'll go check that out in a second because I'm going to go get all, all reliable here right now and there's no shop guys I think when you buy stuff it actually uh, appears in your yard well we're going to put that to the test right now because I'm going to get my crass hopper I could just use a uh, tractor to get around because it's not f everything's fairly close but uh, why not? We'll use this guy. Now where is he? Okay, now he is okay. There's a bunch of barns and like storage around here, but this is basically everything right here. But I wanna Okay, there's uh storage for your potatoes and your sugar beets, I imagine. Oh, we got a guy out in the field. See the size of the fields, guys? Like, they're definitely manageable for one person. And, uh, yeah, you can just go plant right away. As much as you want. We have this guy. And we have this guy in here with all the weights. I don't know why they get them all jammed in here, but that's... It, this is cool, man. I like this. I definitely like this. Great. Because some people I noticed on the forums who were looking for like a small map, they didn't want to get overwhelmed, they just wanted something they can jump into, and here you go. This is great, because I mean, you just, you only start with about six grand, and basic starting equipment. But I mean, if you can bank a few dollars, you already have the, uh, the fields you can go to, so, or start planting on, so it's only a matter of buying seed, right? And you have a harvester all that good stuff. Okay, here's one sell selling point here. And you'll notice, yeah, the fields don't really match up to the map, but that's fine. I don't mind that. 
eggs, sell eggs here. Oh yeah, guys, there's no dairy cattle. There's no uh, meat, meat, animal meat selling. Like you can't sell chickens for meat or uh, cows. But you do have sheep, you can sell wool, and you have chickens. That's it. Let me see here. I've got some stuff I wrote down that I wanted to mention. Uh, yeah, the fields are free. You have ex access to them right away. There's no shop. There's no BGA. Not that I can see anyway. So I don't know as far as making silage and like selling it at the BGA. I don't know if you can actually do that. But actually, you don't have cows either. So I don't know. There's not really any. So you you don't have to make forage. I'm just wondering about uh, silage. Like, can you sell it? I don't know. See, I didn't look at every every angle of this, but I'll show you what happens here. See how the map? It looks like you can keep going on the map, but here it just stops. But ba boom, you drive into the void here, <laughs> where they just circle around and come back. But yeah, this basically this whole thing surrounded like that. It's, but that's fine. I don't mind that. I thought this was actually pretty cool, pretty clever too. These little tiny fields, like I love them. You can manage this all by yourself, no problem. You got a couple of customers you can deal with. You can still buy anything you want from the shop. It just appears in your yard instead of at the shop. Actually, I think this is the shop, kinda. There's a customer over there, I just drove through here. Okay, no, this is where I was. That's the shop. That's the shop. Not much of a shop, but that's the shop. Alright, so let's go over here. We've got a nice size field here. See, they're not overwhelming fields. They're just a good size to, to manage, you know? A little frame choppage here, but I think that's my computer. I'm just looking where all that storage was. Oh, uh, we'll check out uh, the town here. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is basically our farm. But yeah, there's uh It looks like there's a spot for cattle there, but... In here, it looks like there's kind of like the pens and stuff. And I can see hay. But, I don't know. Maybe that's for sheep? No, sheep don't need that stuff, so I am not too sure. I'm not too sure. But it does say that there's sheep in, uh... Okay, I think this is a fill-up point for slurry. Is it? No. Why is it saying fill level there? Yeah, it is. That must be a slurry pickup. It's a big slurry tank, I take it. Okay, if there's okay, because you can make silage in here perhaps. Yes. There's no triggers or anything, guys, on this, so well as far as uh opening doors or anything like that. Okay, this is there's two uh silage pits there. See, it looks like there's almost things for cows, but I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it said there was no cows. Let's flick over here right quick. Do, do, see, oh, there is milk. Well, it's saying it here anyway, but there's none over here. Sheep, chickens, oh, there is cows. What are they talking about, man? Unless that's just there and it don't work. I don't know. It's confusing me now because I'm pretty sure on the webpage, it, you'll have to take a look at that. But I'm pretty sure it didn't say mention cows at all. Just chickens and sheep. Is this another slurry pit? No. I don't know what this is. I think you could just put uh, bales in there, possibly. Possibly. Okay, where was this at? Uh, see, it's hard to. Uh... Okay, yeah, this is this is all the storage. Some had seed and some had uh, some 
There's a tractor in there. Some had the weights in it and stuff. They just scattered it around. Actually, I was going to get... I don't know if I'm going to bother with this, but I was going to get this guy just to... Uh, I just wanted to test the uh, drop-off. Because it looked kind of funny to me, but... If I can... Uh, drop off a little grain in it. I just want to check that out. Fur at least. Hey, boo! I thought he'd stop. I thought he'd be an, a, a nice guy. And see, like the the wool selling point is right on this field, and I don't understand that. But that's fine. That's fine. It's not like the map's so big that you're gonna get lost anyway, right? Everything's fairly close together. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get this guy out. Oh, there's a drop off, guys. I'm pretty sure that's the drop off. I just wanted to test this because it's just got this one silo here. Yeah, start filling. Yeah, there it is. And here, I just want to show you. I can get an aerial view for you here. Hold on. Just grab my keyboard and I can boot this up real quick. Okay, let me get rid of that first and foremost. Then I'll bring this up. Then I'm going to flick through these real quick until I get my flight. Uh, did I pass it? No, it's right here. And then I'm going to get out of here. And then I'm going to QJ up. And I'm flying. Okay, I just want to show you an aerial view of this. This is basically your... This is probably what I'll use for my thumbnail, but this so you can get a better view of what's around here anyway. There's our harvester hard at work. So you can get a little better of a view See, it's not huge. Everything's well contained. I'm going to take a sh uh, drive to the city there, but, like, see what I mean? Everything's within bound, like, you can see the boundaries, so... I don't, I don't think there's any forestry on this map, I wouldn't imagine, but I don't see many trees. But possibly over there, I shouldn't count it out, because, wait a minute, let's go over there and look. We'll go check that out. No, we're not taking you. We're gonna go back to our this guy. Our this guy. Oh, there was a way out there. Okay, I didn't think this review would be this long actually. So it be really quick, but I want to show you guys everything. I don't want to just because the town area is pretty nice actually. Okay, yeah, here's gas here, guys. I don't know if you're actually going to find a gas station around here, but you can definitely fill up here. And, uh, yeah, I was just driving around. There's more seed and fertilizer inside here. Oh, okay, this guy needs... Okay, that was kind of lucky. Let's go pick this guy up and see how this all works. This should all work fine, but I just want to test it because I didn't get a chance to do that last time. Little glitch there. I can live with that. See, I don't, I'm not picky. I like it. As long as everything works, that's fine with me. You know, and he, he does have a boundary on it. You know, you can't see that crap on the outside. So I love the size of the fields. Like, you can manage them. You really don't have to hire a worker. You know what I mean? You could do all that yourself. And uh, I think it's a great single player map. Fantastic. And get this, guys. The file size is only 177 megabytes. 177 megabytes. 
and actually one of these fields has corn in it and it looks really good <laughs> I know that sounds weird but uh hold on I mean the uh the look of the crop looks better than it does in the vanilla version like the corn looks better okay, let's drop this off and I'll show you what I mean before I show you the last little bit of this map okay all right, that all works. That's all I want to see. That just looked funny, that great. But I should have known it would work. Okay, back, back. To this guy. Okay, left you in there. Let's get out of here. And I'll show you the rest. Okay, we got, there is traffic, there's people around, that's nice. Always feels more uh, lively when you see people moving around, vehicles and stuff. Show you those the, uh, the corn, the children of the corn. Now wait a minute. Let's take a look here. Where's that corn planted at? What, what color is the corn blue? Way over here. Now oh, should only take a second. Pretty much there now. I just want to show you that because it's. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Right here, look. Look at the corn. It's a like green on top. Like, I love that. I think that's awesome animation. That looks even better than the stuff in the game, I think, personally. And look, guys, you can cut this right away. Well, you'll need, I don't know if you get a corn header, actually. Let's check that out. Is there a corn header? Do, do, do. Will the powers that be let us have a corn header? No, they're not that generous. They're not that generous, I tell you. You get a cultivator, a tractor, a few weights. I shouldn't be looking at them here. You're supposed to look in the shop to do that. This is the best way to see what you got. You have. You got two of these, two of those, one of those, one of all these. Then you got three of those, one bigger one, and that's mine. That's mine. Okay. So, I don't think there's too much more to see here, guys. Like I said, the shop doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure, yeah, let's make sure there's a selling point here. Because then, well, we can confirm there's two selling points anyway. There was, wasn't there? Yeah, that's where I showed you guys. There was a drop-off there, wasn't there? I'm pretty sure there was. Yeah, right there. Yes, unload. Why is it a real bumpy? Oh, that's cool, man. So there you have it, guys. I just want to make sure I didn't forget anything. I want to show you guys everything. Everything, everything. I love how, like... Um, I love how small and nice these fields are. Even the texture of this oil I like. And I mean, like I said, it's only 177 megabytes. I don't know who the hell made it. It just says, by admin. So I give the guy credit, but the, the most I can do for him is add the uh, link and let you guys have at it, download it. Some of you just wanted a smaller map, here you go, it seems to work fairly good. Uh, yeah, there's only two customers, I think I pretty much covered everything here, yeah, I'm just looking over it. So, yeah, like I said, there you have it guys. Everything will be down below in the details, enjoy and happy firm.